Naples Tower, this is helicopter 357 Lima Hotel requesting upper taxi to spot Charlie with Alpha. Hey everybody, Rob here from Heli Skunk Works. Um, I've gotten a few emails and a couple subscribers have also asked how they can go about changing their uh, main blades. Uh, so that's what this is going to be all about here. Um, as you can see, I've got the Honey Bee Fixed Pitch version 2. And we're going to go ahead and uh, change out the main blades on here. Um, it's not complicated, it's pretty easy. There's a little bit of a trick to it, just some helpful things to know that uh, will make it uh, a lot easier and make it uh, fly a lot better when you're done with your uh, blade change out. So uh, with that said, uh, let's get to it and I'll uh, show you how to do it. So okay, the first thing you want to start with is uh, you're going to remove your rotor head here. And to do that, you want to unsnap these two, um, what East Guy refers to as ring like push rods. Uh, you want to unsnap these. Uh, you can use a small pair of needle nose pliers or you can just use your fingernail. That's how I prefer to do it. So you unsnap these to begin with, and then you can pretty much just pop your head right off of here. Just put some pressure under one side, push up on one side, push up on the other side, and that pops your, pops your head right off of there. So we're going to go ahead and take a um, medium to smaller size Phillips screwdriver and just go ahead and start removing these screws here. Okay, so now you have your uh, blades off of your blade grip. You have your screws and your head stiffener here. And um, you want to put a new set of main blades on. It's pretty simple. It's just a reverse process of taking the blades off. Uh, you have your blade grip here. And you uh, put your first blade on, being mindful of the way that they're put on. You don't want to have them put on upside down like that. Unless you were going to try some sort of weird inverted flight with your honeybee. I don't know if it would work too well. You could try it, but anyway, you want to make sure you have the orientation right. Okay, now the way that I like to do this is to uh, just start with one blade, one screw first. So you have the blade on. You want to make sure you Get your head stiffener in there. Now, there's an important thing here. When you put your head stiffener on, there's a, uh, let me pull this back off here for just a moment. Uh, this extrusion that comes down, you can see that on camera. The extrusion that comes out of your blade grip there, as you put your blade on, there be just ever so slightly it will go beyond it will go beyond the thickness of the blade the hole that it's going through and when you put your head stiffener on you want to make sure that that head stiffener hole is on that lip or perfectly or at least as well as you can get it lined up with the hole if you can see that there okay so uh, knowing that, we'll just start one screw here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the screw in. So I'm turning this in, taking care to make sure that this head stiffener stays lined up the way that it's supposed to be. I'm turning this in and I'm tightening it. Okay, now here's where we're going to cover a crucial aspect of uh, your, just your blades in general. I'm moving it in here and it's stiff. In my opinion, it might be just a little bit too stiff, but I, th I think that that'll work. The point is, is that you want to have your blades tight enough that they're not just flopping. As you can see, I can move this, you know, and the blade doesn't flop. But you don't want to have it 
you know, so tight that you have to really pull on it like this because what will happen is when both your blades are on, when your blades are on your helicopter and you rev up the throttle, you spin up the helicopter, you want your blades to be able to move to some extent for two reasons. Number one, you want the blades to be able to find essentially their balance, their center of balance. They find that so-called quote-unquote sweet spot. They will find their own balance and you won't have any uh, unbalanced problems. Uh, number two is when you hit, when you crash and your uh, blades hit something, and believe me, you are going to crash if you're a beginner. Everybody crashes, even beginners, experts, but uh, particularly in the beginning, you are going to crash a lot, so you just get over it. Um, the second reason is when you hit something, your blade can fold back like this. Hit something, boom, it folds back. And what happens is that absorbs a lot of the kinetic energy that's in the rotor disc system and instead of you know breaking parts in your rotor head assembly or bending your main rotor shaft or some other thing of the like that folds back and absorbs a lot of your energy so you want to have it uh, the general rule is that when this is on here uh, you want to have it just tight enough so that you can turn this blade by pushing on the tip of it and it'll it'll turn the main gear and turn the you know against the resistance of the motor without moving without the blade moving in the blade grip that's the general rule okay okay so now we've got the blades on and we've got everything uh, the head stiffener is lined up there and we've got the blades on so make sure you get a really good view of this um, I got the tightness that I think that they should be only thing left now is to go ahead and uh, put the uh, blades back onto the helicopter. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to put it on there and you can see if you look at the bottom of your blade grip you'll see where the bearings go on there where the central hub bearings stick into these two uh, slots here. If you put it on there what I like to do is just put my thumb underneath, I'm putting it underneath the main drive gear in here to have something to push on. Because you don't want to push on other sensitive parts and possibly break, a, break them. And just push down with equal pressure on both sides and boom, it pops right on there. Nope, oh, not totally. Now, I'm glad this happened because this is something that will probably happen when you go to put your blades on. One side's not on there correctly. If you look at this, you can see that there's a slight tilt happening here because this side did not go down all the way. So all you do is, once again, putting my fingers under the main drive gear here and just push down on the other side until it seats properly. There we go. So now it's on there. Straight. So to connect the push rods, it's pretty simple. They're already on the fly bar, so we just move the first push rod up, get it started on the ball, and push it on there until it's at the midway point. You can see that there. You want it to be right in the middle. We do the same thing with the other side. You want to make sure that your blades can pivot freely. I'm just tapping on this fly bar to make sure that everything's nice and loose. If this thing is really stiff for any reason, uh, your helicopter won't fly well. In fact, it'll probably fly terrible if this is real stiff. So, um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning into it, and until next time, take care. To start, press any key. Where's the any key?